um, a quick update just because yesterday was kind of a rant. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't doing really well emotionally more than anything. Physically, I'm fine. <laughs> um, I'm much better today. I had a talk with someone and it felt better. And um, it's nice, I think, right now that I have a very small group of people that watch my videos. Um, and those that watch it, um, if there's more, I they don't comment, I don't know. Um, but I feel kind of comfortable in the smaller arena. Um, I feel like, well, I'm getting overwhelmed too. It's really strange and I did not do anything to prompt it. Face My personal Facebook, not my Veronica dreams, but my personal one has got inundated with friend requests. I mean, 50 or 60 a day. <laughs> it's like, what the hell happened? I don't know. Um, I accept friends that have a mutual friend. Um, but if they don't, I, I don't accept them. It, but it's weird. It's like totally for the last week and it's just getting more and more and more. And I'm used to having a lot, but people on Facebook are different. <laughs> than Instagram. Instagram, fine, you know, they don't expect a lot of chatting, but Facebook, they want to be your friends, and they want to message you, and they want to talk, and I'm like, oh, I don't have time to talk to 300 people, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I don't mind saying good morning to some, and here and there, and, um, but you just can't do it every day, and, and I actually had someone tell me, well, you know what, you may be okay with, you know, um, how do they say it, um, like false friends, but I'm not, I'm here to, you know, get, get to know people on a lot. Okay. Um, dude, that's fine. Um, I, I tend, I mean, everyone that watches these, uh, are, are, um, I feel like are my friends to some degree, or, you know, we have developed a relationship on social media and it's, um, uh, you know, and that was in the midst of a ton of followers that I had, and I still can develop relationships and, and uh, friendships and uh, those type of things. It's just, you know, you can't do it with everyone. You just can't. And, um, it, it, and, and I don't necessarily like that a whole bunch, and I didn't plan this to happen. It just kind of, like, made me think, eh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, people are just strange. And it, it really is strange because um, I feel like people want to talk and when I or, or get together. And, and a lot of these people are from Colorado. And I feel like, you know what? I don't, I'm really not ready. Um, especially new people, you know, go on, take in, go into lunch with someone that you've talked to or that you know is fine. But I'm having people go, you know, I'll meet you for lunch or this or that. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm not quite ready to meet new people. I'm still in this getting to know myself and I'm sitting, sitting with someone new and I don't know what to talk about. You know, I only have one thing to talk about and that's, you know, what I've been through, not anything else because I really don't have anything else to talk about. I mean, I don't. I mean, my, my life's been home in at the hospital and for the last year. Oh yeah, almost a year. So that's really all I've done. Um, so I, I mean, I'll be ready soon enough, but, um, I really, uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm going through like a change, I think. Um, and I think it'll be positive. I'm just needing to realize how to deal with it. I think it's, to me, it's kind of strange. I mean, people still find me attractive and sexy and, and, and I don't get it. Um, I don't know if it's just any woman that has a picture that's in her panties and bra is sexy. Is that, is that it? I mean, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter if she is or not. I mean, that's how I feel like it doesn't matter. You guys think it's sexy because, you know, she's wearing bra and underwear. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's how I feel now. I mean, I feel like, you know, some of, of my bra pictures are more than sexy and beautiful and all of that. Um, and it's okay. I don't necessarily want to be sexy, but I, I find it very strange. Um, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. You know, I, I, I've got 
good followers and they're not assholes to me. At least I with the smaller group now. But I just, I, I guess I'm just not believing. I'm just not. I feel like, and I feel like with some of the things I'm doing, like with the Patron and stuff, um, I'm starting to um, get into maybe areas that I don't know that I really want to go. Um, I love doing the short stories. However, um, and they are about sex, you know, they're, and they are, um, but it, everyone looks at that differently. And I have a few people that know that it's just creative writing and that's the way it is. And I'm not having, it's not a story about me. And, um, yes, it provokes fantasy and, and in every story, all creative writing should, shouldn't it? Um, But I feel, and, and I guess that's, that I, I just don't have a choice. I mean, when I write that, people are going to automatically think, you know, and fantasize about me. Or not automatically, they, they can't. So I'm just, I'm dealing with that. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't know if how I feel about it. Um, I just don't. Um, I'm kind of, uh, in that respect, uh, I, I just don't want to know. Um, someone had said, messaged me something that was, you know, just, well, yeah, that, you know, that picture makes me horny. Because he asked me, oh, what my favorite ones were. I said, I really love the shower pictures that I have them posted. And um, he goes, yeah, I love them too. I was trying to see beyond the sensor. And I'm like, well, I don't like them for that. You know, I like them because I feel like I look pretty in them. And I like them because I feel like they've captured some real me. And um, yeah, and, and he said, well, yeah, they make me horny. I don't give a crap that they make you horny. You asked me what my favorite ones were. Not, I don't want to hear that they make you horny. You Did you just hear what I said about why I like them? Anyway, um, <laughs> and I get it. I get it. I, I understand they do, but you don't need to say something when you're asking what your favorite ones are, or, you know, you're having a conversation. Why does every conversation have to turn to sex? Yeah, I know. I write about it. Um, so I'm just dealing with some things and thinking about what I want to do next. And, you know, I have to do something. And, and the one good thing about Instagram and um, YouTube and um, Facebook is that I get up every day and I, um, or most days, some days I don't, um, and get ready and um, get dressed and, um, and that's important because I, I, on days I do lose that, you know, I sit around in my robe until noon and I, um, play games on my phone or I'm watching TV and I'm not doing something. And at least I'm doing something, um, getting back into do my daily readings on my card. Um, I'm going to do some practice readings cause someone had asked me to do a reading for them. And I really want it to be a good reading. Um, so uh, I'm getting there. I, um, But I'm, I'm not sure what direction I need to go now. Uh, I feel like the whole sex thing is not about me anymore. And, and maybe it's just because I don't always feel well. And um, I don't, I'm still finding me. I don't know. Um, it's different now. It, it's different. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want this one to go on all day. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>